Hi there, welcome back to our Getting to Know Your Software, 15 minutes at a time. Let's take a look at Cricut Design Space and Fonts. Let's just replace this quickly. Okay. With Cricut we have three different ways of getting fonts. You have all the fonts that are available, you have your system fonts that are available, and you have your Cricut fonts that are available. System fonts are all the fonts that you have downloaded or in your operating system of your software. Now, to show you how easy it is to download one of those, let's go to Safari or Google or whatever your search engine is, and let's just write free fonts. And you're going to come up with loads and loads and loads of websites where you can get fonts. Um, I okay. There we go. I'm going to just go to this one quickly just to show you how it's done. And let's find a font that we like. There we go. Click download. It will download fairly quickly. Double click on your download. It will open your file up. And I, I use, it doesn't matter which one of the files as long as it installs it. I'm going to double click on my TTF file. It's going to ask me what must it do. We want to install it. And it really is that quick it will install it. And there the file is in my user files. So, to do that again, if I downloaded another font, it would, you double click on your download. As soon as the download is finished, double click. The file will open up. And inside the file, you will have the files. Now, normally I use an OTF file, but it doesn't really matter whichever one works for you. It's going to come up with a screen, and what do you want to do with the font? You want to install it. And it is that easy. Now, clearly, I thoroughly enjoyed doing this because I have so many fonts. It's unbelievable. It takes me longer to find a font I want to work with. So... Just to give you the idea, let's go back to fonts. If I click on my fonts here, these are all my system fonts, and I have loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of them. In order to make it easy, if I decide I want a script font, I just go and it will come up with a script. Let's use that one. I'm going to just make this a bit bigger so that you can see what we're doing on the screen. There we go. Not quite that big, Leander. Let's just go smaller here. There we go. There we go. So we can see what we're doing. Okay, now, automatically when it comes up, it's going to be... It's grouped. I want to ungroup it. But before I ungroup it, I could also have moved it back. So let's use our reverse and just go back one. Okay. In order to get my letters closer together, I will go to my letter space and get them as close as possible. Especially for these. Once we ungroup now, you'll see I can take those two because they're okay. I'm going to just move my G out of the way for now. I'm going to take those two quickly and I'm going to group them again. Now I want to make my G bigger. So I'm going to, I can just drag it bigger like that. 
or I can unlock it and just make it longer or narrower or whatever. So let's just put Mr. Magoo. There we go. Now I can do the same here. I want to make my M bigger. So I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to drag it more or less the same size. And because I am very bad at judging my sizes, I'll just lay them out over each other. It's much easier. Now I quite like this all getting I can actually make it just slightly longer. I like that. Give it a bit of a classic feel. And I can take my so while I've ungrouped it, I can do all these little things with it. And I can keep grouping each section that I have finished. So I've done that. I'll group it and move it out the way. Now, I'm going to just put my R there and I'm going to drag my M bigger, but I'm going to definitely need to make it slightly narrower. And in fact, if I wanted to make it the exact same size, <laughs> not the right way to do it, but it works for me, so just lay it on top, get it more or less the same size. And move it back out the way. There we go. So, let's see. Let's go Mr. McGee. Here's my M. I want to actually take my, my R out there. I've clearly got it. Okay, let's get our... M here, then we can put our R back in, so we've got the right space, I'm just looking where these are. I can then go select all and I can group it again. And what I can do is weld it, so that I'll cut it in one piece. So if I send that through to my machine now, that's what it's going to cut, it's going to cut it and my letters will all be joined. Now, if I hadn't joined it, or welded it, as we, we put it, let's go back one quickly, and I send it to my, my mat, look what it does. See how it moves all my letters around? There's my R, there's my M. So, in order for me to get it, that it stays the way it is on the screen, I need to weld it. I need to join those pieces that it becomes one design. And that is how, let's just go select all quickly, let's group it, let's weld it, it'll then become, instead of being individual letters here, it'll become one design, it's one basic cut, and we can send it to the machine. Play around with the alphabets. They are such fun. There are so many things you can do and change. And We will be covering more quick 15-minute tutorials on alphabets over the next couple of days. Have a good one.